In the last video, I sh um, went through an example of how to solve a system of equations using a matrix equation. And in that example, we came up with a unique solution for this system. Now I want to walk through a system of equations that does not have a unique solution, which means it either has no solution or it has an infinite number of solutions. So let's see what that would look like. So first off, we need to create our coefficient matrix with the numbers in front of our variables, followed by our variable matrix, followed by our constant matrix. And then we need to find our inverse, the inverse of our coefficient matrix. So let's find the determinant. Negative 6 times negative 2 is a positive 12, and we're going to subtract from that. 4 times 3 is 12, and that's 0. This matrix here, because the determinant is 0, it has no inverse. Therefore, this system has no unique solution. So I'll write no unique solution. And what does that mean? That means that this system either has no solution at all, or it has an infinite number of solutions. And we need to determine which one it is. So in order to determine which, which case we have, either the no solution or the infinite number of solutions, we actually have to go back to our system and take a look at it. If we solve for y in our first equation, we get 3y equals 6x plus 8, y equals 2x plus 8 thirds. In our second equation, we get negative 2y equals negative 4x plus 10. When we divide by a negative 2, we get y equals 2x minus 5. All right. We have two equations whose slopes are the same and whose y-intercepts are different. So these are different lines, but they're parallel. Parallel lines have no solutions, so we have the no solution case.